Hey guys, this is Christopher. Um, this is chapter number 5 of the Solaris tutorial. I'm gonna explain today how to save the game. Because, remember in previous chapters, um, when you take, for example, the sword, you cannot save the game. And next time, next time you run the game, everything is, everything is reset. Okay? Um, so, what we are going to try to do is a nice dialogue box um, that shows up when the player pauses the game. So, if you press D, um, the game stops. Uh, you cannot move the player anymore um, because this is the built-in pause mode of the game. Of course, we are gonna, going to change that one day. Today we are going to replace this very minimalistic uh, pause mode by a dialogue box that allows the player to save. And um, you probably remember also that the dialogue box is also very minimalistic because it is the built-in dialogue box. You cannot ask questions to the player in this dialogue box. So we are gonna make the A Link to the Past dialogue box very similar to A Link to the Past with a nice frame, the font of A Link to the Past and letters that appear ga gradually and you will also be able to ask questions to the player in that dialogue box. Okay? Um, there are a few. You need uh, the the a link to the past resources to do that. I mean the image of the frame, dialog box frame, and also the f the a link to the past font. Both of them are in the. Oops. Both of them are in the Solaris a link to the past pack that I gave you um, in chapter two. But um, at that time, there was no a link to the past font in the resource pack. So if you don't have it, um, you will find it here. So let's just download the zip of the whole pack. And in the in this archive, you're gonna have to take um, first a sprite HUD, unless you already have it. Dialogbox.png. You see, it's this is the frame of a link to the past text. So take this and put it in your quest sprite HUD directory. Uh, okay. Same thing with mm -hmm. oh no sprites no text alttp.png and fonts.dat. Um, this file actually it is the list of fonts. Um, it will probably no longer exist in future versions. So if you don't see it in Solaris LTT pack, this is because you are using a more recent version than me today. But it's okay. <laughs> just don't don't take it, and it will work. You will just have to declare your font from the the editor, as uh, just like all other resources. But in Solaris 1.3, fonts don't appear yet in this menu. We have to use th um, the list in that file. Okay, and here is the font you probably recognize it. I even put some some uh, Helian uh, characters, special characters. Okay, um, and so um, this is uh, a link to the past resources, resources that you need for this episode. And you will also need uh, a script a script that manage, manages the new dialog box, dialogbox.lua 
um, it is quite complex, it is quite long because this dial box is uh, not very simple, it has a lot of features like asking questions to the player and displaying tests gradually so in the link of the video in the description of the video I will put a link where you will be able to download this script so uh, scripts dialbox.lua and gamemanager.lua actually gamemanager.lua will um, contain some initialization code necessary for the game for the game um, right now this initialization code is in main.lua but uh, this code but it's a bad idea to do everything in the main file why is it not saved? did I change anything? I don't know ok uh, ok so <laughs> there are still the, the typo here whatever it's fixed now um, so when you run the game you still have the old dialog box the new one is is set up by th that script I was just talking about um, game manager so instead of doing that code for main.lua let's just call the game manager to do that um, to include the, co the functions from another file in this file we use the require standard function of Lua game manager equals require you see notepad++ knows that function because this is a Lua function, this is not a Solaris function um, require scripts slash game manager and um, if you open it there is a small example of how to use it we, are, we already have done that let's just do the other two lines when the Solaris logo is finished of course like before we create a game from save one dot that and we start it this creation game function does uh, all each all the necessary initialization that we are that we were doing before, like um, loading the file, checking if it already exists, and if it does not, initialize it with new uh, with appropriate data from for a new save game. So the initial map, maximum amount of money. This is new, and maximum amount of life. So if you want to change the initial the initial values <laughs> saved in your own game, uh, you can do that here. It's, it is the appropriate place. Then there is some code to initialize the new dialog box and to close the new dialog box system when the game is finished. So at this at this point, we have installed the new dialog box. It should work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, why doesn't it work? Is there any problem? Yes. No such font. A L T T P. Maybe I forgot to take it earlier. Um, so in text you should have. Oh, okay, it's not here. It is not in the list either. So, and do I have the sprite of the frame? Yes. So I must have forgotten. I must have forgot earlier. 
Okay, um, data text. Those two guys here. Yes. You found the sword of courage. Use it to vanquish your enemies. So it works. Of course, um, you will need to update your dialogue that, that file um, because the um, the new dialog box is very large and it has four lines of text instead of three. So this empty line, this this line being empty and this one be, being not empty, this is not no longer appropriate. Okay, next step, the save game, <laughs> finally. Um, yes, if you want. Get back to gamemanager.lua. Um, how can we install the new um, pause menu? Pause menu instead of just freezing the game when the player presses the D key. Well, um, you can see the documentation. Um, there are other functions, callback functions like this, events on the game. And the one we are interested in today is unpaused. When the player pauses the game, this function is called. I mean, more precisely, when the player pauses the game, first the game is suspended like we saw, and then your function is called if it exists. And what do we want to do from this function? We want to um, show a dialogue. Game start dialogue, and here you would have to put the ID of your dialogue. Um, let's call it pause dot save dialogue. Um, no, pause dot save. Of course, it's dialogue. Um, and we have to create this dialogue mm, in language text dialogue dot dot. You can also edit this file from the editor, like we s like we did in chapter four, if you prefer. So to create a dialogue. If, like me, you are using um, Solaris 1.3, there is no graphical editor yet. And the text will be, um, do you want to save your game? I think the maximum number number of um, characters on one line with the a link to the past dialog frame is 48 characters. I think I should check that. Do you want to save your game? And there will be two answers: yes or no. <laughs> of course. Let's just. Try that first. Do you want to save your game? Yes, no. Mm. The no is not correctly aligned. I must have a tabulation problem. Mm. I hate tab tabs. Um. Mm. Sorry, it's in French. Insert spaces. Never mind. And then uh, what we want to do is add the, the a cursor and allow the player to choose between yes and no. The dialog box script that I gave you um, supports that. You have to insert a special sequence um, dollar followed by interrogation mark, like that. And the dialog box script, which is here, you can see how it works if you want, if you're curious. It's quite long. 
dialog script will analyze this and replace this by, by a nice cursor and uh, allow you to choose between all lines having this marker okay this marker so basically you have <laughs> nothing to do it just works and if you say yes or no for now it has no effect because we just showed the dialog we didn't save anything and the game is still freezed um, because we are still paused so when the dialog ends there is a function automatically called if it exists and this function is actually the optional second parameter of game start dialog um, so this is not a function that we are calling right now this is a function that will be automatically called by the engine when the dialog ends and what, what we want to do is set paused false at least so um, you understand that this function just starts the dialog and is is uh, the, the function starts the dialog and exits uh, immediately so game on pause is finished the game continues and later when the player has finished to read and has validated the dialog that function that was passed previously uh, will be called it's a callback game set pause false let's test that yes no doesn't matter but then I can play the game again without having to press D again okay um, we still didn't <laughs> save our game how can we know if the player chose um, yes or no actually this callback function has also an optional parameter which is the answer to any question if there was a question um, is the resp responsibility of the dialog box script to pass the appropriate value here and the answer is actually thanks to that script the number of the line so it's two or three two if it is yes and three if it is it was no if answer again equals two then game save and that's it and game set set port false should be here it's not that important but it's more logical when you read the code okay let's try that before that um, your save game directory is um, whatever name you put in quest that here the, the right there so for us to talk quest English and this name is relative to your home di directory then dot solaris then um, ba um, that name it's empty for now if I try to save first d does it work if I choose no nothing should have happened okay and if I choose yes yes it works <laughs> the save is here you can see that the save game file is uh, very readable so you can cheat if you want um, those variables are the one um, handled by the engine they all start with underscore and uh, they, they are the only ones for now because mm, we did nothing in the game Oops. so you have um, the, the keys, the keyboard keys you have the life um, the starting map of the save game this kind of stuff but if I take the sword
and save again it appears here possession sword is one um, why is it called this variable is why is this variable called possession sword because the sword script uh, decided so in items uh, sword set save game variable possession sword okay so that's great we can save you uh, you can save your game and you have a nice a link to the past dialog box um, that's it for this chapter if you have questions please ask and see you next time bye bye